My name is Carmela. <laughs> we are doing a Mob Wife makeup tutorial. Let's go. Hey guys, how are you? It's Jean Watts. Welcome back to my channel. I am jumping on this trend and I am doing the mob wife makeup look because I just love this shit. Um, to me, it's very like 90s, which is like my favorite. Um, with a little mixture of like a 50s and also a little bit of like 2014 in here. So all like the fun, glamorous stages of um, beauty. Okay, right now we are gonna start with the sponsor and the sponsor is Celestia Beauty. And I have three products here that I love. And then after, I'm gonna show you this and then I'm gonna start the tutorial from there on out. So you guys can learn how to beat your face like this. <laughs> I have their blush, I have their bronzer and I have their highlighter. And their packaging is unmatched. Something I've never seen before. Their whole entire brand is about divine, feminine, um, powerful. This is their Areola blush. This is their divine V highlighter. And this is their goddess bronzer. I did a TikTok using these products yesterday and I love them. So I'm gonna show you what they look like because I need all three of those right now. We're gonna start with Bronzer. This is gonna be the bronzing areola. This is goddess. I'm gonna take the back of this hourglass brush here and I'm gonna start with sculpting with here. Now we're gonna do the hairline. And I like that there's two colors here. So like, obviously I want it to like ombre. I'm gonna blend it, hold on. But it's like, you can use a dark one right here. And I can go in with the side here and kind of work it downwards. My wife has to have a very chiseled face. Doesn't have to. I, don't know, I just pulled that out of my ass. But to me, she's very vixen like. No. I love this bronzer. I love the color, everything. We're gonna try their blush right now. And I'm using all of it. And I'm targeting right here. I want everything to look like a facelift. My nose and up here, just tie it all together. A little bit. No. Here we go in. Ooh, with our highlighter and I'm a very cheeky person, so I try to keep it very PG-13 on here. <laughs> um, but I am going to take my kind of blender brush and we're gonna go in with this beautiful highlighter. I look, I don't know if you can see it. Okay. So pretty. And I like that you have the options of like making it a little more pinkier. We're sticking with just like the champagne that they give you. I'm gonna do a little here. Uh huh. I'm gonna actually. But yes, I will link these below 
I absolutely love these colors. And I, if you guys can't tell, I love being a woman. I think it is such a beautiful thing to be a woman. I, when I think of women, I think of like the divine femininity of just like owning herself, owning her body, owning her power, um, getting in touch with herself, being intuitive because we're all naturally, all women are very intuitive. And I love that this beauty brand for women really, really punches you in the face with it, which I think is really cool. And the products are actually really great. Cause to me, honestly, all women are goddesses. I don't care what you look like. I don't care what your body type it looks like. I don't care what you do. We're all goddesses. And I just find this to be definitely along the lines of what I believe in with women. And yeah, I will link everything below with these products. I mean, I don't think I can put any more makeup on <laughs> at this point. Okay, what I'm wearing. These are, um, I will link these. These are Anthropology. This dress is from Revolve. I felt like this was very, I've worn this um, in a post kind of recently on my Instagram. But I will link this, it's from Revolve. Um, this Body Glow, which I just love. This is Sol de, de Janeiro. And this is their Glow Oil. I'm about to run out, as you can see. I just ordered, this is their shade Champagne. So Champagne. I just ordered their darker one. I have yet to try it. But it's coming in the mail. I will link that. Um, I use this little brush with it uh, that I got. Uh, TJ Maxx, but I'll find it on Instagram. Let's get to it. Okay, let's start. So right now I just put on, oh, I love this stuff, MAC Hyper Real Ceramizer. And it gives me enough hydration. My skin's kind of dry right now because I'm dehydrated per usual. Now I'm gonna go in for my face. I just got this in the mail and this is Kosas BB Burst. This is their new tinted gel cream. I used this for the first time yesterday and I absolutely love it. Um, I just don't, unless I'm like going for pictures or something, I don't like full coverage foundation anymore. You guys have heard me talk about that a lot. So Kosas having a, a tinted BB cream makes me happy. So I, I'm gonna start with this stuff and this is in the shade medium tan warm. Put this right here. And I'm taking my MAC brush in 170S. And I'm just gonna take my beauty blender, set this all into my skin. I love. I love this BB cream. It's coverage, but it still looks like skin. I love it. Okay, now we're gonna do some concealer. I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna do Armani Beauty in the shade four. I might be putting more on later, but I'm just gonna go in with my Hourglass Seamless Concealer Brush. I don't know what down my nose. Ooh. You scared me. You scared me. Now we're going to do some bronzer. Since I'm really tan right now, I'm gonna use my little Ella Luz. Ella Luz. Ella Luz. Um, this is their cream bronzer in the shade. Born in Rio. I'm just taking a brush like this, and this is from Iconic London. And first we're gonna sculpt the jaw. Yes, and then we are gonna go around the hairline. Hey, Blue Blue. I swear, every time I do videos and I'm talking to myself, my dog gets really creeped out. So Blue always starts barking. <laughs> Cause I feel like he starts getting nervous. He's like, mom, why are you talking to yourself? <laughs> Is everything okay, mom? Why don't you just talk to me? Confirmation. <laughs> Blue, we get it. A really pretty shade. A bronzer, very natural. Okay, 
Now we're gonna do eyebrows. I'm gonna start with Taupe. I'm gonna brush these babies up. I hate doing eyebrows. I've been wearing my eyebrows thinner. And now that I'm kind of used to them being thinner, I look back at some of my old pictures and, and videos, I'm like, oh, my eyebrows were real uh, natural. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna, I'm gonna add on later actually, because per usual, I'm doing this as I go along with it. I might be using three different palettes. I'm gonna try to keep it under one, but To me, I might say this many times, but to me, the Mob Wife makeup look is just 90s glam, which is my favorite. So I wanna stick with a lot of mattes. I'm gonna mix the colors of MAC Embedded in Burgundy palette. I'm gonna mix this color right here Cause it's like a, it's like a light pinkier toned natural color. And this one's more gold, as you can see. So I'm gonna mix the both of them because I don't want it to be too pink and I don't want it to be too gold. So I feel like that would be a nice in-betweener. And I'm going to start by buffing this out very lightly. I might do a cut crease, I'm gonna find out. Then we are gonna go in underneath. I'm using this brush right here, taking the same two colors and I am going to. So it's just a nice little smokiness around the eye because I definitely know I wanna do a serious liner on the top, which that means I can do a lot on the bottom name. Now I'm going to take my MAC brush in 224S. That's what it looks like. We're gonna slowly build. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Winky Lux in Coffee Kitten. I'm gonna go in with this color right here, just like a dark brown. Yeah, I might even mix it a little bit. Back with this palette, this color right here. And I'm gonna target here, cause I definitely know I want this to be a serious, smoky cat eye. Oh, that looks like a maze. When I clean it up, it's gonna look good, I swear. Okay, let's do this side. And then we're kind of doing, see how I'm like just targeting like that V that I've always talked about. And even though my blending right now isn't the best, the best way to get a nice blend is to just lightly move your brush. Don't like dig it in, lightly dust and just keep dusting. Ooh, I can always tell when I'm dehydrated. I'm also gonna add from this Winky Lux one, this color right here, cause it's kind of like the shimmery, which I know I said I wasn't gonna do a shimmer, but maybe just underneath. So for my own sanity, I'm taking a little bit of my <clears throat> makeup remover and I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. And I'm very lightly just sweeping this up. Uh-huh. And now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just kinda Set whatever's going on right now. Again, I'm gonna go in with my Armani Beauty Concealer. And now, we are you. I'm gonna clean this up. Now I'm just gonna go back like this and kinda dust this around. Okay, we're gonna try to move on a bit. Okay, so now underneath my eyes, I'm gonna go in with my Kosas Cloud Powder. <clears throat> and this is in Feathery. 
out of Powder Puff. I'm gonna set this. I love this powder. I just love color sets. Let me put some here. Now to the eyeliner. I just got some new eyeliner for this video because I ran out of mine. I am gonna go in with black. Usually I don't usually use black, <clears throat> but I'm using the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This is in black. And I'm gonna take a wing. Look at her black day. It's been a while since I've done a wing like this. Maybe the last YouTube video I did. Start small. Uh, uh. Now I'm going in the inner corners right there. I right, see, so now I'm going from here to here. Another good technique for hooded eyes. So like, you see when I close it, it's perfectly lined, but then I open it and it's kind of like. <laughs> We're going for it. I'm going to connect it. With my eyes open. Usually I would kind of hate this, but I mean, a real mom wife doesn't give a f So that's the energy we're bringing here. It's kind of cool. See straight? <laughs> All right, let's do this side. Okay, so this is for educational purposes. So normally I would do this. So this is like a serious winged liner, but it's more straight, like more straighter than it is like up because I made this one a little more up. See how it's like, just like thicker. I don't know if you can, the lighting's kind of crazy. I would normally do this one, but this one is way more fun. And uh, I'm gonna, okay. So for this one, for an example, I usually start, I mean, you guys watch all my videos, where like my iris starts all the way out. With this one, I'm starting where the middle of my eye is and dragging it out. I was gonna do like that tail thing, but I'm messing around with it and I'm just connecting it all, which is a good move. So now I'm gonna do the other side to match this one. Okay, I'm a little rusty with a heavy <laughs> Eyeliner. I'm taking in a tight brush like this. I just dipped it into my um, makeup remover And I feel like You guys are gonna be like what the fuck is she doing? This tail is a little skinny in this one So I'm gonna start from the top of it and kind of wipe this down It's already moving so I'm gonna take my brush and just I mean my um cotton pad I'm going to very, very lightly shorten this. Every time I watch back my videos, it looks one way to me and then I watch my videos back and I can see every little tiny mistake that I made. But we're gonna clean this up, give me two seconds. Okay. That was kind of a lot. I never usually go all the way across with my liner. But obviously with a wing like this, I can do this. So I kind of, see how it's not like, black all the way from here when I close it. But when I open, it's kind of mostly straight across. I'm gonna move on. Cause you know what I'm gonna do next, which actually might really help this, is I am going to take a brush like this. And I'm gonna take this color right here. And I'm gonna go right here where it starts going downwards. And I'm gonna start Brushing this up like this. Like so. Now I'm gonna go with this brush and start blending it very lightly, fluffing it out. Oh, 
like that. That's what I wanted. And see, it just kind of softens that line and now it doesn't look so like, kind of like harsh. That was just more dramatic. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side real quick. Very, very feline. And now for the inside, okay, we're gonna go in with this MAC palette in Encrypted Kryptonite. And this is their um, Cool Toned palette. I'm gonna take a brush like this. I'm gonna go in with this light shade right here. It's like kind of shimmery, but mm, you know what? It's a little too shimmery but I actually really like the mistake I just made of just putting this just in the center right here to really brighten up the area. And you know what I'm gonna do to use the matte that I really want? I'm gonna go in with my face powder and I'm just gonna take a brush like this. I usually wouldn't use this brush, but it's only the brush that I can use right now. Um, and I'm going to use this right, just my face powder since it's matte, and I'm gonna put it in the middle right here. Very gently. We're gonna see how that looks. Yeah. You know what, I'm gonna mix the two. I always do this, my entire life, always just like painting to me. I'm gonna use a little bit of the color just use, and then a little bit of that. And that's gonna give that bright, mattish. I feel like I need to blend a little here. So I am going to go in with this color right here because it can use a little warmth. I'm just gonna try to very, very lightly buff it. Now we're gonna do the underneath the eye and I'm gonna use my brush right here. And I'm gonna use this color right here. I'm gonna put some more down here. I'm gonna take um, my brush that I use with the um, makeup remover. I'm gonna take a little bit of my concealer and again, clean this up. By the way, today, so I don't know if you guys have seen some of y'all have seen my uh, birthday post from last year. So this year, I didn't really think that much of my birthday, that I am performing in Vegas, by the way, next week for Super Bowl, that I'm really excited about that I've been like, I have to get visuals for, I'm playing my guitar, um, I'm working on some covers, I'm also DJing there, which I'm super excited about. So I'm really focused on that. But I was out in doing, trying to do two things at once. Uh, I was salsa dancing last Sunday with my friends and I was mentioning my birthday and one of my friends is like, hey, why don't you have your birthday from salsa? Since I love salsa dancing. Um, go check my um, Instagram for some salsa dancing stuff. And I was like, you know what? That's a great idea. And my birthday falls on the Sundays at the place usually has salsa night. So I am now having my birthday salsa night. Um, why am I talking about this? I don't know, maybe because I'm excited. Mm. So I'm going to use our Dell Lashes in 113. Okay, let's see how this looks. I'm gonna take my, what is this? My Duo Glue in Black. And I'm gonna get some glue. I use the back of um. Please look good. I didn't put mascara on first because I want the eyelashes to go down here. Like, I want to like, like, like that, right? And sometimes when I have mascara, it like forces them to stay straight up. So, I want this to stay 
down and this to flick up with the liner. And I also, um, at the end here, kind of went a little above my lash line. So it kind of like continues flicking up with the liner for a true cat eye. And yeah, all right, I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara. And this is Armani Beauty Eyes to Kill mascara. And I'm just gonna just, I'm using this to kind of blend my natural lashes with the band together. And I also like to take a little bit of this tip off and I like to very lightly put mascara on like the baby hairs here. Like that. Oh, it's been a while since I've done my makeup like this. I used to wear my makeup like this almost a lot. I mean, the, the liner was not as intense, but I used to love an intense liner. Now that the top is so heavy, I can carry a little bit more on the bottom. So I'm gonna take my brush, um, my smudge brush like this. And I'm gonna go in with, um, this is the uh, Embedded in Burgundy MAC palette, the pink one. I'm gonna go in with this dark brown right here. I'm gonna kind of line a little more. Mmm, a mob wife would have bold eyes and bold lips. The thing about smoky eyes is that like nude color lips would be really sick. But for this, I kind of want to go heavy on the lip, like a dark. There's this, um, you know what? My phone's right here. There is this aesthetic photo. I mean, it's a photograph of, I was texting um, my best friend because we were talking about the whole mob, mob wives thing. And I absolutely love this. Love this photo, love this vibe. And to me, this is like, the mob wife that I like. Ooh, can you see it? Yeah. So she's got that dark lip. So it makes me want to do a dark lip. And I got these new colors right here from Hourglass. <laughs> wow, these are sealed in. <laughs> what? Universe is telling me not to use that one. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna try this one. Never try this lip liner. Hopefully this is the winner. This is Hourglass Lip Liner in Candid 5. Nice little liner stash, we love to see it. Okay, so this is where I'm at so far. They also sent me some lipsticks. And this is in the shade Orchid 352. This is brand new. I don't know if this is gonna be the right shade. But I'm gonna use this and kinda blend it out a bit. I'm like really taking my time with my makeup this one. So I want it to have an ombre. I don't want it to be one color. I never like my lips one color. I don't care what kind of color. I hate my lips one color. It's gonna have three different shades or I don't like it. So we're here <sighs> right now. I'm gonna take my finger and kind of blend it out. Yes, darling. Now I'm gonna go on with that tight brush I'm gonna take my concealer, even though it's better to use foundation, but. I think it looks good, but then I'll watch this video and be like, oh, I missed so many spots. But it's cool. I'm okay with that. Okay, now, since we are in the hourglass family here, now they also, so if they sent me the lipsticks, lip liners, and my favorite, I love this product, what, what do they call this? 
I really should know the name of this, like what they call it. They don't have a name on here, but they're like, it's like lip gloss sticks. I'm gonna put this on top. I'm gonna see which one. Mm, I think I'm gonna use this one because it looks brownier. And this is called, and this is in Trace. I'm gonna very lightly, I hope this is a move. Add a little bit of shine. Yes, darling. You know what I need? I need mascara underneath my eye. Ooh, that's a lot. Now I'm gonna go in, and this is Maybelline Tattoo Studio Eye Pencil in Smoky. It's brown. And I'm gonna line my top lid. I'm still figuring out if I wanna do the bottom. Okay, nose contour, and then we're gonna do blush. Let's snatch thy nose, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm just gonna use this one. So I'm gonna take my brush right here and I'm going in with my Palladio Brow um, Powder and this is in taupe, right here. Yeah. I also have their Palladio, this is in soft brown. I'm in a mixing mode today, so I'm gonna be mixing the both of these. We're gonna snatch the notes. We're gonna go all the way up. Okay, we're blending her out. I'm gonna go in. Actually, I think it looks good. I think I'm gonna leave it. Okay. I'm gonna take it. My powder puff. Start blending it outwards. Okay, it's kind of looking. It looks fine here. I can't really see the can the little screen that well. Um, I'm gonna put more powder underneath here. Okay, we're gonna move on. Oh, maybe I can do a little more brow, you know? Okay. I'm gonna go in with Palladio Brow Powder in taupe in an eyeshadow brush. And I feel like I can add a little more over here. I used to like my eyebrows like all the way to here and lately I've been liking them a little more natural, like a little more farther apart. But let's see. Um, this to me is a super glam, like mob wife, which to me is just like 90s glam, but like this is a little mixture of like a 90s glam and like 2015, which is love. It's just like very glam and a good cat eye, which I like. And I haven't worn like strip lashes, which I used to wear all the time. And usually I don't like them. But the reasoning why I don't wear strip lashes is because I usually like like a thick. Like I have filmed a spiritual video like f***ing like three times. So I gotta watch it back. If not, I'm gonna film it again. But after that, I'm gonna try to be more consistent with that. Yeah, let me know if you guys, give me some ideas, something next. Um, I'm going to Vegas, like I said earlier, that I'm performing at. I'm gonna try to get a vlog in there. Um, I'm also gonna try to get some TikToks, so go follow me on my TikTok. I'll put my handle on the screen. Um, follow me on Instagram. I'm always the most active on there. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe so you guys get alerted when I do post. And all right, I love you guys. Do your work, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys next time.